Right, so here we are back with my Sun 2 computer. This time I disconnected the uh, built-in hard drive and I connected the SCSI to SD converter with an SD card which holds a couple of uh, hard disks on there, hard disk images. One of them is uh, SunOS 3.2. So this is now booting off of the SCSI 2 SD and here we see the uh, boot messages. Okay, I stopped the uh, booting process because I was only interested in the boot messages. And I've taken out the Sun 2 CPU board. So this is the board as it is in my system. And you'll notice that there is a empty socket over here. And now I happen to have this in my possession, which is the AMD AMZ8086 PC chip, which is a hardware desk encryption chip. Now the idea was that the Sun 2 would have built-in hardware support for uh, DES encryption. The US government didn't find this a very good idea, so they talked to Sun, and Sun did, uh, has never, as far as I know, shipped any systems with uh, DES chips. But the chips do exist, so it does fit in here, so I hope this is the correct slot. And with this chip, I'll do this without the camera and I'll break the board. With this chip, let's see if it boots and detects a DES device. So, right back. Alright, we're back to the machine with the DES chip inserted. I'm, uh, I've rebooted into uh, SunOS 2. SunOS uh, 3.2 didn't uh, work, don't know why. As you can see here on the, the top, it says release 2.0. And at the bottom you can see that we have a uh, DES0 device. So that's good. So let's go and check because there is no DES stuff here. And we need uh, the make dev program to make a DES chip entry here in the devices directory. A bit awkward typing with one hand, so forgive the typos. Yeah, we got a desk device, actually we got 10 of them. I don't know why you, why you would want to have 10 chips in your device. Anyway, let's do some actual testing. So let's take the uh, kernel, that's a good 300 plus uh, kilobyte. And let's do some this encryption. So we're going to encrypt. Oh, we're going to time the command, of course. We give the key on the command line, which is not secure, but we don't care. Um, let's see, via Munich. So this is the hardware encryption. So I can see the hard drive LED is flashing, it's doing something. Okay, that's uh, roughly 11 seconds. Now the desk command, if you read the manual, it says there is a S option to request software encryption even if you have a hardware desk chip. So the rest of the command is identical. I now see the uh, hard disk light flashing very slowly. According to the manual page there is a um, 15 time 
difference approximately between hardware and software encryption. So if that is true, this would take about two and a half minutes. Well, as you can see, we now have a lot of user time used and uh, less system time. And the total time went up from 11 seconds to 4 minutes 15, so that's quite a dramatic change. Now we can also try the uh, reverse. Well, let's first have a look at the uh, files. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see what happens if we uh, decrypt. So with hardware, That doesn't work. Decrypt. Key. Again, similar, 12 seconds this time. Let's remove this file to make room. Decrypt in software. And there we are again, quite a difference. Well, the files are the same size, that's good. Let's move that one as well. These are all well. 